Bedtime Story Up in the Air Narrated by Miss R.R. When you stand at your window and look down and around, you will see great many things moving on the ground. Bugs, bullfrogs, babies, buses, cars, cats, and silly clown. Everywhere you look, you'll see something rushing up and down. But if you are bored of looking down, lift your head and look around. You will find up in the air as many things are to be found. There are things that glide, there are things that fly, there are things that hover, and things that zoom by. Birds of all shapes and sizes flop their way across the sky. Eagles, crows, sparrows, robins, and the mountain black eye. Bearer of flying things that sting like mosquitoes and honeybees. Enjoy the moths and butterflies that float by softly like the breeze. Scrunch your eyes and look really close when you see something above hover. If it's super tiny, it's a hummingbird. If it's noisy and huge, a helicopter. If you feel left out of all that fun, don't cry and don't complain. Just grow up to be a pilot and you can fly an airplane. You can zoom around the world whenever, wherever you want to. And just in case you feel lonesome, take your fox along too. But if you want to go up much higher than that, you could become an astronaut and get into the spacecraft. You could go to the moon, to Jupiter, Venus, and Mars, and someday, in a space rocket, you could reach for the stars. But if you want to fly up high, right now and right here, try airships or hot air balloons to float from here to there. But wait, there's so much more if you want to be up in the air. Gliding and parasailing are sports for those who dare. And when you are tired and dizzy from all the zooming around, you could still be up in the air from right here on the ground. Get your kite, get your balloon, and fly it into the sky. Watch it bab and dive and dance against the clouds that float by. So when you stand at your window, look up and down, and all around, there are many, many things up in the air, just as there are on the ground. Up in the Air by T. Albert www.monkeypen.com Bedtime story! Thank you, children, for watching! See you next time!